Hello everybody who is watching. Uh, we are in the most agreeable period of our workshop at lunchtime and uh, we have uh, a wonderful uh, lucky circumstance to have a cook with us who really uh, listened to our wish to have an international uh, moving theme lunch one after another. So today is Italy day. So we have our uh, Italian experts. On yes. food. Oh. Expert. yes I, I am very expert in eating, not in cooking. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. you, you. <laughs> after the lunch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We are very happy that you uh, will be joining us this afternoon and uh, please just give us a, a rough um, impression what, you are, what we are going to hear from you. I will talk about learning places um, and good conditions for learning situations in Europe. Uh, I took part in three Grundvig um, programs. And we um, were talking about um, good learning situation and places uh, in Sweden, for example, libraries in Sweden and study circles in Finland and public places in Italy, for example. <coughs> Only grown-ups, but um, um, my decision is that, uh, and my, my topic is also to um, integrate these uh, concepts also in um, schoolwork, means um, democratic and participating uh, processes also in, 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 in daily school life. Thank you. So I ask you the same question, please. Okay, I will talk about uh, educational design and here especially about the pattern approach from Christopher Alexander because Christopher Alexander is an architect so we have to think uh, how could we uh, take his approach and to convert or transform it for education. I find it very interesting that the architect has a wholeness approach and we are at the currently missing this kind of approach in education. We are limited and we have so much uh, things uh, to plan and we are planning sequences and I'm not, um, in my opinion, sequences is not the right way. We have to think about settings, social situations, arrangements, environments. That's more important. And in these environments, the teacher is a kind, is a part of the environment. And even the content, that is very important. It's not the content which is the most important thing for learning. If it, if it would be the content, then we would just need libraries. There wouldn't be any place that's for teaching the, the, the social relation, right? And that's what we are talking about. Okay. Thank you very much.